Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Monday night edition of Global Sports. I'm Stacey Jones. Great to have you with us. An exciting night at Sydney Center 200. The Cape Breton Screaming Eagles and the Halifax Mooseheads faced off in Game 6 of their Dilio Conference semifinal series. All the clinches came out, cliches, I should say, came out for the Mooseheads tonight. Do or die, put up or shut up, and on and on. The Eagles were hoping they could put an end to the herd tonight and avoid having to return to the rowdy confines of the Halifax Metro Center tomorrow night. First period, the Eagles get their fans on their feet. David Cloutier picks it up with the blue line. Wait, shoots, and he beats Danny Delaire. The Eagles on board first. He gets one to nothing. Cloutier seventh of the playoffs, but the Moose strike back. The shot from the point is stopped, but Jason King is there to grab the rebound. The Moose have tied this game up with one goal apiece. Moose had done a power play, but it's the Eagles scoring. Dominic Noel out battles Jean-Francois Sear, and he one times at five hole on Delaire. Eagles in front. Two to one to the second midway through the period. Jason King takes a cross ice pass and is flattened at the blue line by Jean Philippe Cote. King is apparently a little upset by the hit. Seconds later, he takes a selfish penalty here after the whistle blows. Skates into Flurry, tripping him in the process. A penalty would prove costly just 11 seconds into that power play. Laprise rings it off the post. Noel picks up the puck and fires it at the net. Puck bounces to Dufour, who beats Dallaire. 3-1, Eagles in front. Then the floodgates open. Dufour breaks down the left wing, beats Dallaire on the short side. Screaming Eagles with a 4-1 lead. And Andre Martineau puts it out in front. And Stuart McCray was waiting in the slot. And that shot goes through Dallaire's legs. Eagles in control now. It's 5-1 to, to the third period. The Eagles keep it coming. Danny Dallaire can't believe what's happening. Dominic Newell shoots. It's stopped by Delaire, but Pierre-Luc Laprise grabs the rebound. That's his fourth of the postseason. The Eagles with a 6-1 to one lead. Fans were on their feet. The Mooseheads trying to make a comeback. The backhanded pass to F. Gannett, and he puts it by Marc-Andre Fleury. That was A.J. McLean getting hit by a puck. Good news is he would return to the pit game. F. Gannett getting the backhanded pass there to score. The Mooseheads still trailing, though. 6-2. to two. The Mooseheads get another. Julio Scandella puts one on net. It's redirected in by Robbie Sutherland. Fleury taking out in the process there, but he'd be fine. The Mooseheads were within three goals, but that would be all they'd be able to muster. The fans at Sydney Center 200 erupted as the Screaming Eagles beat the Halifax Mooseheads four games to two. The Eagles have three Days of rest before taking on the Akati Bathos to town. No question, this too will be a great series. And it gets underway Friday night's victory. Stuart McRae says the fans were behind them all series and all night. Just especially when we scored those goals in the second period, the place was just going nuts. And, uh, you know, we we're really happy to beat Halifax just for ourselves and for the crowd because we know it means a lot to them. It was a huge one. I mean, uh, for the team, uh, for what have been said in the paper against us, and for the people in Cape Breton. I mean, I, I can't really point out uh, really a turning point. I know some people are going to say it's the call of the stick, but that's only one game. You had to win four. And um, I mean, overall, we played really good with a lot of intensity. We showed a lot of character. Um, to beat those guys because they're playing very good defensively. So overall, I gotta say, uh, every game was uh, were, was uh, a battle out there, and we, we responded to it very well. It was certainly. A I never I never heard such a loud crowd in all my life. I mean, just especially when we scored those goals in the second period, the place was just going nuts and. Uh, you know, we're really happy to beat Halifax just for ourselves and for the crowd because we know it means a lot to them. Big emotional series. How do you regroup for Bathurst? I uh, would just take a couple days off, and I'm sure we're going to be fresh to go. I mean, this is a this is a big win, and uh, you know, Bathurst and all the other teams they've had an easy road to where they are, but uh, we know we we can beat some tough teams, so I think we have that in our favor. This was a physical series, but it, it wasn't dirty. Uh, what type of series do you expect against Bathurst? I'd say it'll be more of the same. I don't think it'll be as physical because uh, there's not as much of a heated rivalry. But uh, you no, know, both of the teams out there have a lot of respect for each other. We both work hard and uh, we showed a lot of character to uh, score a lot of goals in those last two games. So you had a couple of uh, pops with for all the the island, eh? yeah, and uh, all the island. I think they're behind us, and uh, yes. I think. Uh, 
uh, we give us, uh, we give them uh, something to uh, uh, cheer about. Yeah, it seems like it's six three. Why were there so many goals tonight compared to every other night? Yeah, yeah it was a little bit offensi uh, offensive, uh, more offensive than uh, the other the other game. But I think we come we come out strong and uh, we play. I think one of their our best game uh, during the. The, the series. When it was 4-1 or 5-1, when did you guys think that the game was yours now? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we try to not think about it and uh, play the same game that we did uh, uh, the first two period. And uh, I think uh, the final score showed that uh, we did a pretty good job. Yeah, they had to play seven games against Ramuski. I mean, how much do you think that made a difference that you guys had maybe more legs? I don't think so. I think uh, when you uh, when you are uh, in the series, I don't think uh, you can. Uh, your legs can uh, get, uh, I don't know, tired. I think uh, with the emotion, you never tire. You just want to play. And uh, I don't know. For me, uh, for me, when I'm when I'm tired during the playoffs, never happen. I'm just uh, just too pump up to uh, be tired. So how does the team feel now going against uh, Bathurst in the round? It feels great. Uh, we got a. It's been uh, two two times that uh, Bathurst beat us in. Uh, in the series before, mm -hmm. I think it's our time to show them that uh, what we are made of, and I hope, uh, I hope uh, every guy is gonna come strong, and all the teams be there for uh, to beat them. Okay, thank you, Alex. Thanks. Ariel, we uh, just finished eliminating the Halifax Mooseheads. Just talk about the, the mood of the team and what you think about the series. I think it was a good series. We were, my prediction was six game, so we win in the six game. It's not how you win; it's we have to win the first team who win four game. That's uh, and that's it. We win. What about the emotion in this series? Uh, how emotional was it? Uh, you have a big emotion because it's uh, Cape Breton against Halifax, so it's a lot of emotion for the player and for uh, everybody in Sydney. Yeah. Now, this is a veteran club. A lot of people were kind of worried when it was 2-2, but they, they bounced back nice. Were you happy with the last two games? Yeah, I think we uh, we win the two last game. We have we put a lot of pressure. We were very intense, and we score a lot of goal. That's the difference. Yeah. How, about, how about from a coach's staff? Uh, good feeling? Uh, for sure, it's a good feeling. So when you win, it's always a good feeling, but it's a very uh, it's amazing. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Mario. Thank you. There, Joseph rivalry means uh, the series is now over talk about the intensity the, the whole series itself well uh, the big thing is I think this uh, this was bigger than hockey uh, you're looking at Cape Britain Island against the capital city of Halifax and uh, always a great great rivalry and uh, you know I'm really, really pleased with the guys the way they come up tonight uh, we had to win a big one in Halifax to bring it back home get an opportunity to finish it everybody showed up everybody played 60 minutes and uh, you know four marks to Halifax uh, you know they gave it all they had also and I think uh, the winners were definitely the fans yeah, I, I tend to agree, and I mean, your guy, as again, the, the emotional level, I mean, did our players finally figure it out that this is bigger than, as you say, the game? Well, you know, I give full marks to our, our head coach, Pascal Vincent. Uh, we had a great uh, meeting there before the game in Halifax, and uh, he basically told him uh, the, the reason why uh, we can't seem to get up as much as we should is because a lot of players are from Quebec, and uh, Halifax got more local kids, and uh, he, he told him basically what, what it means to Cape Britain Island, and it means to all the people. And I think the guys are believing in that, and uh, they, they played for Cape Breton Island for sure. Talk about your own series emotionally. How, how has it been for you as a coach? Well, you know, I think uh, I feel that like we're really complimenting each other. I'm just a rah-rah guy there, and, uh, you know, the other two guys are great hockey guys, and uh, I think we compliment each other. It was a great experience. Uh, I've been in hockey all my life. This is the highest level I coached at, and uh, it was it was just wonderful. I learned a lot this year, and uh, the kids, uh, what, I, what I really appreciated with the kids was the chemistry was very strong. Everybody got along. This English, uh, French thing just wasn't there. It was just a, everybody was bonded together no matter what language you spoke. So I think that had a big a uh, big thing to do it. I, I mentioned to Carl McLean who played in the Memorial Cup last year what he thought about this team compared to the team he played with last year. He said, well, the big thing with this team is definitely the chemistry. Everybody gets along and that'll go. That'll take the team a long way. Blair, don't sell your shirt. Your <laughs>